Hey guys, and welcome back to Shatterhand for the NES. We're gonna go to the refinery stage. I have named this hero Ass Punch Johnson. Because that is what he does. Punch asses. Let's go. As a turret, Riot Shield guy is no match for punching asses. Do a little dance on the conveyor belt there while I punch out next Riot Shield guy. Ho! Oh. Yeah, gotta watch out. This game has no timer, so just be patient. Ow, I wasn't patient, see? I got hit. Oh, coin bag. You punch that till it goes away. Oh, grenade, that just goes away. What? I punched you twice. Did I somehow lose my power up before I hit you? Awkward. Okay, those guys just crouch and shoot. They, too, are no match for the punching of asses. I don't know about Mr. T in the power armor there. He throws a lot of grenades. I just like to jump over him and leave because he's a pain in the butt to deal with. Oh! Dang it! Oh, I hate those. Grenades are so lame. Also, I don't know if you were from this time, but this game is 1991. Just, it's 1991 as hell. This is the most 1991 game to come out in that year, I think. It, it really does have the feel of that time period. That's when I was growing up. Gosh, I'd been 10 years old when this came out. I believe, yeah. If you punch the B and the A blocks, they change. So you can actually get the one that you specifically want if you want one. I care a lot about which ones I get because most of the robot combinations suck, and I can't make this jump. There. There are just some of them that are immensely unhelpful. Discus is probably the best one, although grenade throwing guy is pretty good too, which I might have him sooner or later. There's one part that comes to mind where he's really very helpful. Hit you the old-fashioned tricky way. There. Those weird pay-to-heal pads, I'll take it. Oh, free money. That's 50 gold, I think. Oh, lost my little man. Dang it. That's okay. I'll get him right back. Ow! Gosh darn it, don't touch the fire, Ass Punch Johnson. There's no asses for you to punch there. That's just fire. You gotta be careful with hanging on the platform, or you'll screw up like I just did. Okay, we've got power. That's good. It'll help us beat this easy boss quicker. This is the second easiest boss, Jumping Robots. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what anything in this game is called because it doesn't tell you anything. It utterly failed to shoot me correctly there. It did finally hit me that time. Okay. So this thing turns into this. Which, unfortunately for it, has a serious problem. And that problem is it cannot hit you. At all. So it's quite an easy fight, too. Once you let it go into the ground, you just crouch where it's going to come out and let it loop around you. These are quick episodes because these are quick stages, but some of them are going to get long as I die a lot on a few of them, so don't worry. For now, however, we'll get our score tallied up, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode where we take on another stage with the help of Ass Punch Johnson. Goodbye for now, everybody.